Hello, beautiful community. Just a tiny remark today on Putin saying that Zelensky is no longer a legitimate president of Ukraine. What's going on there? Well, Putin is not engaging in political philosophy there, nor is he, in the most interesting sense of that comment, making an observation about his views about Zelensky's legitimacy. He'll deal with Zelensky if he needs to and uh, if it's to his advantage to do so or if he's forced to do so and he will stay with his view that the ukrainian government doesn't have much agency because all the decisions that matter are made in washington now that's not interesting nor is it terribly interesting that what they say in the Kremlin is always designed to weaken our support for Ukraine, to generate strategic confusion and to deepen various forms of divisiveness and apathy in the West that deepen our the ungovernability of our democracies. So what is the interesting part that's going on there? If that is a part that's going on, but you all know about that. I think that it's important to, to understand, as Sam Green quite rightly likes to point out, that Putin is not against negotiations. He is against meaningful negotiations, but he's not against the process of engaging in negotiations, which are for him a possible vehicle, one among others, that could get him closer to winning the war in a broader sense, and that means more than just winning the war against Ukraine. He has eggs in more than one basket here. He thinks that there could be some advantages in engaging in the process of negotiations, and he thinks there are disadvantages there too. So why is that? Well, the background is that and this is an interpretation, it's not an assertion of a fact, that the Putin regime is now constitutively bound up in the following way. For them, regime security is bound up with foreign escalation and the perpetuation of war in a way that is deeper, actually, more constitutive than simply it being a matter of biographical fact that there are certain things of an escalatory kind that Putin and Patrushev and Kovalchuk brothers think. So that, that they're tied into this in a more constitutive way that makes the story run um, not just because of the psychological content in the heads of these people. In other words, there are some structural ways in which the regime is now in a place where, for it, regime security and escalation are quite closely tied. Certainly, a prolonged period without war would be and would be seen to be and would rightly be seen to be by Putin and a few others in his regime as a significant regime security threat. But of course, while that is unsustainable, right, uh, permanent cessation of foreign escalation, the perpetuation of the current situation is also unsustainable. In other words, the current situation either culminates for Putin in cessation of foreign escalation, which threatens his regime, or in deeper politicization and militarization of society and the economy and a series of totalitarian turns and terror coming to Russia in some ways in which it hasn't come there yet. And that's where he needs to go to sustain the foreign escalation that he needs for regime security. But he also feels that he can't go there now, it's too early, and up to a point going there isn't a process that he controls. And that's this sort of weird dilemma that on many counts, if you are somebody who likes to meaningfully use the term fascism, and I understand people who don't because it's such an inflated term these days, but 
if you like to use the term fascism substantively, and there will be a video on the main channel about the ideology of the Putin regime that's going to come after the main channel propaganda video. But if you are into that kind of usage, then you've got a fascist regime without a fascist population. And that's something that needs to change if the sorts of foreign escalation that his regime depends upon for its regime security, if that's to be sustained for years to come. That's a little bit of a roundabout comment of some of the stuff that's going on with this gambit of um, in a rather ludicrous an absurd way um, calling Zelensky an illegitimate president. Lots of love.